Warning, as this video will cover topics of interest to both Finn and Jack and Fiona and Cake, such as the great winter years that engulfed the world, the great famine, the great mushroom war, the power of the crown, and its role in the story, why the crown gave ice powers to the kingdom of O, the existence and manifestation of God, season 2 of Fiona and Cake. If you want to understand something from this video, you should watch almost all the Adventure Time main story episodes. Because what I'm about to tell you will be a continuation of those stories. So stop the video here and please watch them. If you are one of the crew who have watched them all and know the subject, by saying welcome in advance, you can like the video, express your opinions in the comments, and subscribe to my channel just for this labor. Friends, I would like to thank and congratulate Gosta, who has been a member for exactly one year, and also Mystery Hunter Yusuf Kirol, Mirt Erkul. I don't want to pass without saying that I am grateful to my followers for this sense of belonging. Let's move on to the video by saying don't forget to come to my discord server. Welcome to my channel and video. Since this video is for people who have watched the videos I have made as well as people who have watched Fiona and Cake, it's going to include a lot of theories. I talked about a huge meteorite that was about to hit the earth about 70 million years before the crown was made. The only purpose of this crown, which was formed by the elements that gave the crown its power, was to destroy the incoming meteorite. However, before the ice elemental who was going to use the crown could put it on, his sidekick, the little dinosaur, put it on and then the meteor hit the earth and wiped out many creatures. The dream of the sidekick who wore the crown was always to be strong like the ice elemental, even to be him. That's why he tried to be like the ice element after wearing the crown and subsequently lost his mind and mastered the powers of the ice element. Throughout the story, even though we seem to be watching the story of Finn and Cake or Fiona and Cake, we were actually watching the real story of the crown. The main character of the story is the crown. If the crown didn't exist, none of the worlds we see would exist. Because as I mentioned in the original story of Fiona and Cake, Simon used the crown to change the existing world into the world of his imagination. The first one is the recordings that Simon took after he found the crown. In these records, he mentions that the weather was getting colder and colder and that they were entering a long winter. However, the Great Mushroom War had still not happened at this time. Another little factoid is that the crown's ability to give people the power of ice has remained constant because when the crown was first worn, the wearer wished to have ice spells. Since the crown was not reset, it always gave the wearer the powers of ice after 70 million years. To continue the theme, the mushroom war broke out after the winter when people started to experience famine and starvation. The war was so great that it upset the balance of the world. Those who remained fled to the islands. After thousands of years, the world became as Simon wanted it to be, surrounded by fantastic creatures, giant monsters, dozens of heroic deeds and temples full of mysteries. It was at this time that a perpetual reincarnation came into the world. Finn. Because Finn is the main catalyst of this universe, so he constantly changes the course of events and things happen the way they should happen. As we know, Finn's previous life was as a blue butterfly. 
and even though he was a butterfly, he could change some aspects of his life. After the crown was found, the cooling of the world and the outbreak of the Great War prepared the environment to realize Simon's dream. Imagine the universe that Simon imagined. He is an archaeologist who is captivated by the fantastic magic of this universe. But in the modern world, not only was this not possible, but most people mocked him. After all, the people had died and only a pile of chaos remained. The magical universe came to life. But that's where the problems begin. While Tak was fulfilling Simon's dream, he was also taking over his mind. He was left alone in this vast universe, an incomprehensible, cranky and unloved lunatic. He doesn't remember his past, but subconsciously he is looking for princesses because of his longing for his wife because his beloved Betty was a princess to him. Although it is not known what the Ice King did in the last 1000 years, the years he was missing, it was Finn and Jack who lived the dream of Simon. Fiona is just a universe created by the prism. In the main story, Fiona and Cake only showed us things that were not introduced to us in Adventure Time, one of them is that there is a boss who rules the Gobble, Lich and Universe. Although it is not known who this boss is, it would be more accurate if I explain it to you like this. In the scene where the phone rings in Fiona and Cake, a phone comes down from above and on one side of the phone there are angel wings and on the other side there are two divine representative wings the devil's wings. This brings this to mind. This boss is God and he is above all universes, all creatures, all creatures that we call divine. So much so that he rules over billions of alternate universes that can be considered gigantic and he can add a new one to this universe whenever he wants. However, there will be those who realize that he does not interfere much in the main functioning of these universes. If there has to be a war or a famine, he doesn't intervene. He leaves the functioning of that universe to its own fate. This shows us that God is the final point in this cartoon series. We won't even see it in the continuation of the series because the intermediary already has dozens of helpers and can do the rest with a phone call. It will be enough to know a little theology, to understand that he is already aware of everything. I don't know when or if there will be a second season of Fiona and Cake, but if there is, I think it will bore us because there is not much to cover. I'm curious about your comments on this subject. So, if you've watched this far, it means you liked the video. You can subscribe to my channel, express your opinions in the comments or come to my Discord server and theorize. Take care and see you in the next video. Goodbye.